Monero, how does it work, and what makes it more private than other cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin or Ethereum? Well, we'll start off by defining what a privacy coin is and then jump into how it all works. Bitcoin and most other cryptocurrencies operate on an open and public ledger, which essentially means that if you know who the address belongs to, you can learn quite a few things about them, such as how much is in their wallet and what kind of transactions they've been making. Privacy coins, on the other hand, use a different type of technology that masks that kind of information, giving the user more privacy and anonymity over their funds. Now, Monero was founded in 2014 and is completely open source and decentralized, making it one of the most popular privacy coins on the market. So let's look under the hood and dig into the tech to see how this actually works. Now, with AD transaction, there's always two sides, the sender and the receiver. So let's start with the sender. Monero uses something called ring signatures, which basically mixes in decoy outputs, making it nearly impossible to tell which address is the original one. On the receiver side, they use something called stealth addresses, which generates random one-time addresses that can't be linked to any Monero address. Monero even goes one step further and hides the transacted amount as well. This is done with something called bulletproofs. The Monero devs are always doing updates and making the protocol even faster and more private. Additionally, the Monero team created something called RandomX, which is a mining algorithm. It basically blocks mining with ASICs, which allows people with regular computers or CPUs to mine as well. This essentially creates a larger mining network, making it even more decentralized and secure. So where can you go to actually do things with your Monero, such as store, send, or receive it? Well, Cake Wallet is a popular choice amongst Monero users and was founded in iOS in 2018 and then Android in 2020. So it's completely open source, free to use, and is a non-custodial wallet, meaning that you always have control over your seed phrase and funds. Another great thing about Cake Wallet is that you can actually choose your own Monero node or even add your own Monero node if you're running one. I hope you found this overview of Monero helpful and we'll be back soon with more tutorials on both Monero and Cake Wallet. So be sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.